Hi, Python programmer here. You want to learn machine learning, then you're going to need to learn maths. People often ask me what's the best programming language for doing machine learning. And obviously I think Python is a great choice. But you know, choice of language is really far, far less important than understanding the maths behind machine learning. Machine learning is all about maths. And in this video, I want to tell you which maths is involved, why you need it and how to learn it. To really understand machine learning, you're going to need to be confident in linear algebra, calculus, probability and statistics. Why linear algebra? Well, computers interact with the world very, very differently from the way that we do, where we see an image, a computer sees a two or three dimensional matrix. So virtually every bit of input that goes into a computer is stored as a matrix. And linear algebra concerns the manipulation of matrices. And that's something that computers have become very, very good at, and they're very fast at it. And so that's why you need to learn linear algebra. You know, you have this input that comes in that needs some kind of processing. Because when you take a data set, whether it's from an experiment, whether it's an image, whether it's a sound, whatever you're working with, all that is is a collection of data. It's raw data and you have to do something with that data. So you might want to do some sort of feature construction on that data so that you can create features from that data that are more useful to you. In order to do that, you might have to transform, combine or break down that data in some way to create new data that's a hybrid of the data that you started with. And that will require linear algebra in order to do that. And also, you've got this set of data that you really have no insight in. It's, again, it's just a load of raw numbers. And so you're going to need to perform some kind of descriptive statistics on that data so that you understand the data a little bit better. So you might want to visualize that data. You might want to plot a histogram of that data. You might want to just mine that data a little bit more for some information to find out where to go with the next stage of the machine learning process. And so you can build a predictive model so that you can predict from unseen data what the likely outcome is going to be. So we need to look into this data and use descriptive statistics to do that. But it doesn't stop there. We might need to change the data a little bit by, by normalizing it. Well, that involves statistics too. We might need to use, if we have categorical data, we might need to use something called one-hot encoding. And then you have to understand the maths behind the actual algorithms themselves. You know, why might you use linear regression? What are the strengths of linear regression? When would you use logistic regression? And so you need to understand in, enough maths to make those decisions. So we've created this model now and it seems OK, it does the job, but we need to optimize it. We need to make it the best version of that model that it can be. And how do we do that? Well, we can we can measure how good this model is by using something called an error function. And obviously, the bigger the error function is, the, the worse the model is at predicting what you want it to predict. So we use calculus to, re to find the optimal way of reducing that error function. So that takes you through very quickly the maths you need and why you need it. And what I'm going to do now is show you how to learn it. Before I go onto the screen recording, I just want to show you this book. It's Mathematical Methods for Science Students. You can see it's a very well thumbed copy there. I've had it for years for linear algebra and calculus uh, for machine learning. I would say this book is perfect. There's a link to it in the description, uh, and I hope that's of some use to you. I'm going to go through these quite quickly because I don't want to make this video too long. The first uh, resource I would recommend is this Think Stats Exploratory Data Analysis in Python. Uh, the link to the download is in the description uh, and it's a really uh, accessible uh, introduction to Python and statistics. Uh, and I'm just looking for the index uh, and where is it? Here we go. Contents. So we've got distributions, probability mass functions, cumulative distribution functions, modeling distributions uh, and probability density functions, relationships between variables, estimation, hypothesis testing and uh, all the good stuff there. So have a look at that.
Uh, if you want something a little more advanced, then All of Statistics, a Concise Course in Statistical Inference uh, by Larry Wasserman is uh, a really, really good text, uh, and I would recommend that. This is an interesting one. It's The Essentials of Meta Heuristics. And it covers a lot of what you'll need to know for machine learning. So I would recommend this resource too. As always, the link is in the description. And then 3 blue, 1 brown. You cannot beat 3 blue, 1 brown to get insight into linear algebra. He has a, um, a playlist on linear algebra. There's also one on calculus. I would recommend you uh, watch them both. They're excellent. In fact, just watch everything that's on that channel. It's superb. If you're looking for a paid for course, then this Mathematics for Machine Learning from Coursera is a very good and comprehensive course. It covers linear algebra, uh, multivariate calculus and PCA. That's principal component analysis. Uh, you can probably learn all of this stuff without buying a course. But for those, of you, for those of you that do want to buy a course, I'd recommend this one. MIT, the uh, video lectures on linear algebra, there's 34 of them and, uh, you know, they are superb. Watch those to give you some um, insight and expertise on linear algebra. And then MIT also does this one on machine learning and statistics. It's not a video course, but there are PDFs that you can download and that is very good too. I really like this paper. I found this the other day. Um, and I hadn't seen it before, a few useful things to know about machine learning, I would definitely read it. I mean, it uh, it really gives some good insight into machine learning. And then there's this Google course in machine learning, which I have shown before on this channel, but if you haven't watched everything I've done, and why would you? Um, you might not have seen it, uh, and this uh, is a really good introduction to machine learning, and it uses uh, TensorFlow. And then there's this book by... Um, Stuart Russell, uh, this uh, artificial intelligence and modern approach. I mean, just get it. OK, just get it. If you're interested in machine learning and artificial intelligence, get this book, get it and read it. It covers everything that I've discussed and mentioned in this video and loads, loads more. And Stuart Russell is um, a very prominent researcher in this field. So do get this book. And finally, An Introduction to Statistical Learning is another book that I have um, covered on this channel before. It is excellent. Um, if you're into Python, the sad thing is that all the applications are written in R, but don't let that put you off. The insight that you'll get from reading this is superb. Get this book and you can do so. It's You can download the book from this link here uh, and it is free. Those are my recommendations for learning the maths that will enable you to really get an insight into machine learning. Once you know all of this, then, you know, applying what you know in Python using scikit-learn will be a doddle. Focus on the maths, not on the Python, um, in order to be able to do this and do it well. So there we are, that's machine learning. That's how to learn the maths behind it. Do learn the maths. Yes, you can do machine learning without the maths, but you won't understand what you're doing. You won't know which models to fit. You won't know how to prepare your data. You'll just come up with a number at the end of it that doesn't really mean anything. Spend the time and learn the maths. I hope that's been useful to you. If it has, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.